everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. I'm at Mickey D's, gonna pick me up some coffee. Two of them. No sugar, three creams. Good morning to all of you out there in YouTube land. Oh man, just beginning my day. What is new? Alright, I'm gonna pull up before I continue and order up my coffees. Hey, how you doing? Can I get two large coffees, please? With three creams in each of those, and that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're kind of busy right now. You can tell by their voice sometimes if they're uh, if they're busy, you know. Gonna straighten out my essential PH1 attached to the eye Audi Easy One Touch 2. No optical image stabilization. I get a little bit more shakiness when using my iAudi dash mount. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, let me know if it's extreme or if it's minor once I get going here on the road after I get my coffee. I got a question for all of you. What are you tired of when it comes to the smartphone world? Whether it's rumors, leaks, price points, uh, design of what we're getting right now on a lot of our smartphones. Basically, a lot of what we're getting looks the same. It's nice to see that there are some smartphones coming out with uh, smaller notches, the teardrop notch, the raindrop notch, the uh, U-shape, the V-shape notch many many different little names that you could give to the notch but they're minimizing uh, the notch the one plus 16 rumored to have that teardrop that raindrop so uh, looking forward to that but what is it that you're you're just like you know what I've had enough of that for me the, the Google Pixel 3 XL uh, leaks whether it's all true or not whether it's a scam I'm, I'm I mentioned this a couple videos back I done man and just you know October 9th just get here and we'll find out what's going on with all of that it's just uh, there, there there's a certain amount of rumors and leaks that you can take before it just gets so silly anymore you know it's just uh, it just gets out of hand you know what I'm talking about so that's the question of the day as I'm testing the essential pH one should have said this at the beginning of the video uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. 1080p, 60 frames per second, a bit too dark. I mentioned uh, this part of the information in my uh, video talking about the cameras on the Essential PH1 that not a lot of you can be doing this anyway. Hey, how you doing, man? Just two coffees, three creams in each of them. Two large coffees, that is. Thank you, sir. Yeah, not a lot of you are going to be shooting video early in the morning like this. I don't think anybody does. <laughs> Shout out to Jay Will. <laughs> he says, you know, I think you're the only one that knows that does that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It's true though, it's true. And there's a reason for it. I'm out early in the morning like this a lot. So I, I, I take advantage of, of that and in, in spending time with all of you and utilizing my smartphones to shoot some video and just, just share a little with you visually like that. Whether I'm reviewing a smartphone or just, just to do a vlog, because I enjoy vlogging, you know? Um, but I really enjoy this device a lot. Just super stoked that I have to spend a lot of money. Thank you, man. Have a great day. Great guys here. Great guys. You know they're uh, probably 
down one or two people back there working hard and you can hear it in their voice sometimes. Sometimes we have a conversation and they let me know. <laughs> it's good to become like a regular, you know. So let me know if you can go watch the other vlogging videos with the essential Maybe there's only one that I have at 1080p, 60 frames per second. I think there's only other one. Uh, look at that one and this one and let me know what you think as far as um, how dark the video is. This one doesn't look as dark in 1080p, 30 frames per second, but you're going to be the judge of that. Let me know how everything sounds as well. Uh, yeah, I mean... 309 smacks. Can't go wrong. It's not perfect. It's not perfect in every thing that it has to offer. And I mentioned the, the weakness was the, the, the cameras. Now, that just means that of all the strengths that it has, and I'm talking about it as a solo device, it's the cameras. That doesn't mean weak in a negative I, I keep getting feedback on that like what do I mean by that and uh, it's it's a good camera it, it gets the job done it's not perfect and obviously you won't be able to utilize it in certain situations but in those situations you're not even going to be uh, like this you're not <laughs> most of you aren't going to be doing this shooting video in the dark that's a me thing so eliminate that part of it and you got yourself a decent camera that's gotten better over time that's gonna be sufficient and yeah it'll get the job done so I, I guess I can't say that enough I probably have mentioned that now in three videos I'm just really uh, it's just because I get feedback and, and I get asked that question and and I get that for my razor phone you know and if, if you're that concerned, and if it's that much of a conversation, and that's just something, that's just an area you're really diving into, you might you might want to consider um, something else, where that is the the strength of of whatever smartphone it is that may have better cameras, great cameras, a hey, Google Pixel too, man. Everybody, I don't have that device, but. For the most, not everybody should say that. Most, a high percentage, rave about that device when it comes to its cameras. Top notch. So, I mean, brand new though, for Google Pixel 2, you're gonna pay a lot more. Uh, if you get a used mint condition over at, like let's just say Swappa, you're probably gonna pay less. But yeah, I mean, it's you got to do your homework and, and see where you're going to invest your, your funds, your smacks. Um, but there are smartphones out there, obviously, with superior cameras. Um, there are budget devices that may offer better cameras in situations like this for me. But it may not give me the other areas that I need that the essential gives me. Um, and again, I'm not that picky, so I'm I'm fine. Will it will it will it get me through my day and what I need it for when it comes to this area? Shooting video, taking picture. Yeah, I'm cool with it. And it definitely will get me through my day with uh, performance and functionality and even battery life when using it moderately. Here comes that road, that stretch of road. How did it do right there, man? How was the, uh, with no optical image stabilization, how was that moment right there? There was a lot of shakiness. Looked like it handled pretty well. So, um, would I use this as a daily driver? Definitely, definitely. I've always been, even before uh, YouTube, I've always, like having two devices uh, 
So, I would probably still have two devices. The other one, probably a Nexus device. I would probably have, you know, if I wasn't doing this and I picked this up for 309 smacks, um, I probably already would have had a Nexus sitting around. Uh, I probably would still be buying smartphones because I was always intrigued with this tech. So that's what that's what accidentally got me into this game, man. I, I bought a, a, a Huawei device that had issues, and I sh I. Uh, Put up a video. I put up a video to send to Huawei so they could see what the issue was. I uh, can't even remember the the, the device. Um, and I accidentally uploaded it to YouTube li uh, live. <laughs> uh, I can't remember that word. I just it, it went up to YouTube. Okay. So uh, I published the video, unknowingly published the video, that's what I want to say. Um, and I started getting feedback on it. <laughs> and that's how I started meeting a lot of you. And so began this journey in YouTube. But at that point, I, I already had some devices and uh, so I, I, I know that if I wasn't doing this, I'd still have two, three, or four of these sitting around. But yeah, this this would definitely, definitely, def hey, that's one of those moments that you would say, should I edit that out? Nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> See if I get that way. I would definitely use this device, the Essential, as a flagship device. Definitely, man. And then I probably have my Nexus 6 or a Huawei Nexus 6P in my other pocket. And I switch them back and forth. But I don't see how you could pass this device up as a flagship. Again, but if, if there's areas that you want more of and it's not giving you that, then that's... That would be an area where you would then have to uh, personally go out and find something that would that would give you that. So, uh, if it was photography, videography, and you and you want, you don't want to buy a DSLR, but you want something in the smartphone world that's going to give you the best quality in those two areas. Well, then you would have to buy something else. Okay, you're not you're not going to be happy because you're going to be really picky, and I understand that. But there's a lot of us, a high percentage of us percentage of us out there, man, I cannot kick out the work today, what is wrong with me, that, you know, aren't going to be that picky, now there's certain areas that I am picky about when it comes to my smartphones, and that is display, whether there's screen bleed, light leaks, those, that's an area for me that just kills it on a smartphone, I'm beginning to be a little less um, OCD about it. Uh, with a little bit of light leak, it's not too bad. If it's a significant amount, uh, you know, I, I, I yeah, I, I'm trying to chill. If honestly, I'm, if I'm having to, to look for something like that, then I'm, I'm being a little too nuts about it. But if it's, it's, if it's pretty right there, then that's, the, you know, you can turn on the device and it's just that aggressive, then that's different. Um, if you look for anything wrong in life, you're going to find it. Okay? I mean, seriously, if you look that hard, you will find it. It's easy to find the negative and miss the positive, right? So if you have to look that hard, micromanage your visuals upon something like a smartphone and you just take a, a, a magnifying glass to check every letter little nook and cranny and, 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 and find you're looking for some sort of uh, flaw, you're going to find it. <laughs> and I don't want to have to be like that. 
Anyway, so question of the day, back to that. Remember, I'm shooting 1080p, 30 frames per second, the essential, let me know how everything looks, especially when it comes to the visuals, the audio, and no optical stabilization, so let me know how that looks. Um, what are you tired of when it comes to the smartphone world? What are you, what are you done with? Okay, I don't, I, I'm done with the huge notch. I'm, I'm liking the little notch, the little teardrops, the little raindrops, the drip. I'm tired of rumors and leaks that go beyond, that just get silly. You let me know what you're tired of. That's it, everybody. Thanks for uh, taking a ride with me. I'm done. Catch up, boys! Woo! Wake up, everyone! Wake up! Have a good day. God bless.